houses we live in. Houses we live in. Why do we need a house to live in? We all need a house to live in because a house protects us from heat, cold, rain, animals, enemies. So a house protects us from heat, cold, rain, animals and enemies. Houses are of different types. Some houses are big and some are small. Even animals make their own homes. Bees make hives. Hive is its home. Now look at the house here. This house has a roof, wall and a door. Some houses are made of mud and straw. They are called kacha houses. So houses made of mud and straw are called kacha house. They are not very strong. All huts are kacha houses. Now this is a kacha house. You can call a kacha house a hut as well. So kacha house are made of mud and straw and they are not very strong. Where would you mostly find huts? Where would you mostly find kacha house? In a city or in a village? In a village. These small houses we find them in the village. So one type of house that we have learnt is Kacha house. Some houses are strong and made of bricks, cement and steel. Some houses are very strong because they are made of bricks, cement and steel. They are called Paka houses. Now this is a Paka house. That is another type of house. Paka houses are strong and they are made of bricks, cement and steel. So just like the people, animals also make their homes. Even animals make their own home. Bees make hives. This is a beehive. A hive is its home. This is bees home. So what did we learn today in our first SST lesson we learned that we need a house to protect us from heat, cold, animals and enemies. We also learned the two main types of houses. One is Kacha house and the other one is Paka house. Now this is a picture of a kacha house and this is a picture of paka house kacha house a kacha house is also called as a hut we call it as a hut as well it is made of mud and straw kacha houses are not strong they are mostly found in villages. Paka house. A paka house is made of cement, steel and bricks. They are stronger than kacha houses. Why? Because they are made of cement, steel and bricks. 
paka houses are mostly found in the city so this is how your notebook is going to look you will write the date class work types of houses hello to draw and name the two types of house so what do you know about types of houses we know the uses of a house okay so what do you want to know you want to know about the types of the houses cross curricular line daily life keywords what are the new words we learned today one is kucha house and the other one is paka house so here is a picture of kucha house and this is the paka house look at the house over here now this house is a kacha house or a paka house it's a paka house why because it's strong and also it is made of cement steel and bricks most houses have flat roofs in some places such as the mountains it rains and snows a lot houses in such places have sloping roofs so that rain and snow can easily slide off so most houses have flat roofs what do you mean by flat roof look at this house here it has a flat roof look at the house here this has a sloping roof so why do they have a sloping roof they have sloping roof in the areas where it rains a lot so when it rains the water the rain water can slide off like that it will not stay get stagnated it will slide off if it snows also it will slide off so that is why you have sloping roof in the area where it rains a lot in india you mostly find houses with sloping roof why because it rains a lot in india but in uae most of the houses have flat roof why because it doesn't rain much here even if it rains and if the water stays on the roof it shines so bright the sun shines so bright the next day the water evaporates the water goes away right so this is a house with a sloping roof and this is a house with a flat roof we have houses with sloping roof to avoid water getting stuck on the roof okay most houses in india got sloping roof and in uae you mostly have flat roof my album of houses now these are some types of houses the first one here a house boat a bungalow a tent 
a caravan, an igloo, a stilt house. So what did we learn today? Types of houses. So you will be able to draw and name three or more types of houses. KWC, what, did, what do we know? Importance of a house. What do you want to know? More about types of houses. Cross curricular link, daily life. The new words that we learned, keywords are flat roofs and sloping roof. So what did we learn in this lesson? We learned a house protects us from heat, cold, rain, animals and enemies. Kacha houses are made of mud and straw and Kaka houses are made of bricks, cement and steel. Houses may either have flat or sloping roof. Keywords Hive means the house of a bee. Kacha house, a house made of mud and straw that is not very strong. Paka house means a strong house made of bricks, cement and steel. Sloping a surface. So what did we learn in this lesson? We learned a house protects us from heat, cold, rain, animals and enemies. Pacha houses are made of mud and straw and Kaka houses are made of bricks, cement and steel. Houses may either have flat or sloping roofs. Keywords Hive means the house of a bee, Kacha house a house made of mud and straw that is not very strong. Paka house means a strong house made of bricks, cement and steel. Sloping a surface where one slide one side is higher than the other. Sloping means a surface where one side is higher than the other. Now let's do the Let's answer the questions now. Write T for true or F for false. We need a house to protect us from only heat and cold. Only? No. We need a house to protect us from heat, cold, animals and enemies. So that is false. All homes are made of the same things. All homes are made of the same thing? No. Some houses are made with mud and straw and some are made with cement, bricks and steel. So it's false. Weak houses are called kacha houses. Some houses are made up of bricks and cement. Yes. All houses have flat roofs. All houses? No. 
identify the houses and match the rows. So the first one is a tent, B is a igloo, C is a caravan, D is a bungalow, E is a houseboat. Answer the following question. Why do we need a house? Why do houses in the mountains have sloping roofs? What is the difference between a kacha house and a paka house? So day 3, write the date. This is your notebook, topic and let's write the answers. Answer 1. We need a house to protect us from heat, cold, rain, animals and enemies. Answer 2. Houses in the mountains have sloping roofs so that rain and snow can easily slide off. Question 3. What is the difference between Kacha house and Paka house? So Kacha house is made of mud and straw and it is not very strong. Paka house is made of bricks, cement and steel and they are strong. A paka house is a strong house. It is made of bricks, cement and steel. So those are the answers for the three questions. Day 4. Let's discuss. What would happen if we did not have houses to live in? So if we do not have houses to live in, we will be not protected from animals, the weather, and also the at enemies and living will be difficult let's think do you think houses with roofs made of dried straw and grass are strong do you think houses with roofs made of dried straw and grass are strong are they strong no. Why? Because straw and grass are not strong materials. They are very soft materials. So if you make a house out of it or the roof out of it, it's going to be a weak roof. It is not going to be a strong roof values and life skills we should help our parents to keep our house clean we should dust our rooms put our plates in the kitchen in the kitchen sink after eating food throw rubbish in the dustbin not leave used clothes on the bed which of the following do you do at home 
so if you dust the furniture you can circle it if you put away things after using them you can circle it circle all the activities that you do to keep your house clean clear the table wash clothes wash utensils pots and pans so no matter your house is big or small we should always keep our house clean and how are you going to keep your house clean by dusting the furniture by putting the things at the right place cleaning the house cleaning the table washing clothes washing pots and pans next where do you throw your waste at home where do you throw your waste in the bin in the dustbin so this is your notebook topic keep our house clean lesson objective to express way to keep our house clean kwc and write how are you going to keep your house clean dust our rooms throw rubbish in the dustbin not leave used clothes on the bed okay so that is the end of the lesson so what did we learn in the lesson we learned why do we need a house we learned the types of houses houses with different names and uh, houses with different roof and we also learned how to keep our house clean watch again and revise the lesson well i will see you with the now the lesson